I'm back with a new video. So this video is kind of a follow-up of my last video of the April 2020 BoxyCharm unboxing. So I have some products from that and it's going to be basically a full face first impressions kind of thing. So I have all the stuff from my BoxyCharm pretty much and then I have some other products that I haven't yet tried that I've had for a little while so like poreless putty primer um also I have some other stuff too so we're gonna try all that out and I'm gonna let you guys know what I think so yeah let's get started <laughs> So the first thing I'm going to try is this Tony Moly sheet mask. It is I'm Lotus for illuminating. So I'm going to put this on and it says to leave it on for 20 to 30 minutes. So I'm going to do that off camera, of course, and then I'll be back and let you know how my skin feels after that. Okay, so it's been 30 minutes. So my skin feels like really hydrated. And I'm just going to rub the rest of it in. Yeah, so we have that. And now I'm going to move on. And I'm going to try out this Levito Age Away Replenishing Cream. And I'm going to just put it on top just to moisturize before I start my makeup. So it comes in this little tube. And it's not very big, but I want to try it out. So it seems to be a pretty, like, thick-ish consistency. I like the scent and it feels really really nice. Alright so my skin feels really nice. Okay so now I am going to try out this e.l.f. poreless putty primer. I have heard tons of reviews on this especially from Jeffree Star. He made this go viral and it was sold out for so long so I'm gonna just try it out. I have tried primers that Jeffree Star has liked before and it just did not work for me so we do have quite different skin I'm assuming so hopefully this works for me I didn't use very much I just used a little bit on my finger my skin actually feels like super super nice right now yeah that looks like really really nice I like how it looks up close it feels really nice on my skin so now I'm gonna go in with the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation I have used this quite a lot so it's not a first impressions but um, I don't have any other new foundation that I have not tried yet. So I'm going to just try this and see how that looks over top of the primer. So it comes in a glass bottle and it looks like this. They've had this for quite a while so um, you probably have already seen it before. But it comes with a dropper. So I'm going to just do my foundation off camera and then I'll be right back to uh, let you know what I think. So I forgot I got these new brushes, so I'm gonna test this out and see how it looks. First thing I've noticed, it's not very dense. That's different than what I'm used to for sure. Okay, I don't really know what I think about this yet. This is a pretty sheer foundation, but I don't really know what I think. I think it's kind of a little bit weird texture on my face. We'll see how it goes with the concealer. So for concealer, I have this concealer from Pretty Vulgar. I got this in a previous BoxyCharm as well. This is shade 60 Little White Lies. And it's supposed to be pretty full coverage, so I'm going to try this out. Too dark for me, but we'll see if we can make that work. I'm going to take this brush from Opulent Beauty. This is the same brand as the last brush we just used. These are definitely pretty flimsy brushes. I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like the coverage. It just does not seem to be doing literally anything except for coming off. I don't know if that's the brush or if that's the concealer. It's too dark. It's not concealing anything. I'm going to zoom you guys in so you can see my skin a little bit clearer. I have this Ciate London Everyday Vacay Coconut Setting Powder. This is what it looks like. It's got the metallic top with the little bow. 
and then it just has the writing on the side it looks pretty white so hopefully this does not have a white cast i love the scent it smells super super nice okay so that looks pretty nice i'm impressed with that i do like it i love the scent and it did mat down my face very well so i have this contour palette by tarte it's the tardis pro glow it has contour highlight and bronzer and blush that looks so dark is that just me okay we'll work with it we'll see how it goes okay so i did the best i could but this is looking horrible i don't know if it's the lighting or if it's just this product but i am absolutely hating it so far but anyways let's go in with the bronzer shade and i'm gonna try and fix this even more so i'm gonna try the blush the next product i'm gonna try is from iconic london so it's these illuminator drops and it's just shade original i guess so I'm going to just take a little bit and put it on the back of my hand. I'm just going to take it on my finger. When I swatched it before in my last video, it did not dry. So hopefully it will be able to blend out how I want it to. I do like this. I like the highlighter for sure. It's kind of helping with this horrible contour. Okay, so now I'm going to take my highlighter brush. This is the Morphe M451. And I'm going to take the more gold tone highlighter, so right over here, and I'm going to just try and blend that in with the liquid highlighter and just blend it in with the blush and try to make it look better. <laughs> okay, so for the eyeshadow, we have this Life's a Drag palette from... Lunar Beauty, which if you don't know already, that is Manny MUA's makeup brand. This is what the shades look like. Really pretty. So I am going to start, and I'm going to use the neutral side of the palette. I'm going to start off with the shade Mug right here. I'm going to just start packing it on the outer corner in kind of like a C shape, kind of like that. And then I'm going to feather it out a little bit by just blending in tiny circular motions. Yeah, this concealer has creased so much already and I've barely even gotten started. And I've barely even opened my eyes. And then I'm going to take this fluffier blending brush. This is also from Lavish. And I'm going to go into shade Sickening. And I am going to just pack it around the last color bring it in a little bit more and I'm going to blend the lighter shade in closer to the corner of my eye and just keeping it very light and blended next I'm going to take the Lunar Beauty brush that comes with the palette and I'm going to go in with the white shade called Cake Face and I'm going to put that more in the center. Alright, so now that we have the top done, I am going to go in with Mug again. And I'm going to put it underneath on my lower lash line. Then I'm going to blend that out with Sickening again. The next product we have is by Stila. It is the Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadows. And this is shade Rose Gold Retro. And I'm going to put that on my eye as well. I really, really like that. I like to bring it above my crease. Since I have hooded eyes, I like to bring it above because it just makes my eyelid look a lot bigger and it just really fits the eye look a lot better than just on the lid. <sighs> I love it. Okay. Perfect. Next thing, I am going to fill in my brows. So I have this brow pencil from Billion Dollar Brows. I'm just going to fill in little brow strokes. Hopefully this works. I don't know if I like it because it doesn't stay sharp very long, like at all. Anyways, <laughs> I'm going to move on. So I'm going to do my eyeliner off camera because I have already tried this product. It's just the NYX liquid matte eyeliner. So I'm going to do my eyeliner and I'll be right back. Okay, so I filled in my liner 
And now I'm going to go in with the mascara. So we're going to use this Wonder Beauty Mile High Club Volume and Length Mascara. I like the applicator. I feel like it doesn't really get in the way. It's definitely lengthening, but I like mascara that's kind of thicker rather than longer. Okay, so I'm pretty impressed. I do really like how my eyes have turned out. I feel like it looks really, really pretty, and with the highlight, it looks really pretty too. I feel like my uh, contour and bronzer don't look as crazy now that I have my eyes done, so that is definitely a positive. Yeah, so the next product we have, and I'm pretty sure this is the last thing as well, is this Nude Sticks Lipstick. Let's try this out. The color is Wakiki Rose. And it's just really pretty. I really like it. And let's try it out. It's pretty much like what my natural lip color should look like when they're not blue. Okay, I definitely like this. It's super, super pretty. I like the applicator and the feel of it is just really, really nice. So, yeah, I like it. So, I was wrong. The last thing we have to try is this Glow Recipe Watermelon Ultra Fine Mist. And I've had this. I have not tried it yet. And I'm super excited to try it because I hear a lot of people really, really love it. And I like the packaging. So packaging always means it's good, right? <laughs> so I'm going to try it if I can open it. This is what it looks like. I think you have to shake it. This is what it looks like without the cap. Let's try this out. Ooh, that smells so good. So yeah, my hair looks ridiculous right now, but let's just go with it. I do like how the look turned out. I do feel like the bronzer uh, could have definitely been better, but uh, I will play around with it, see if I can make it look better in different lighting. I feel like the lighting could have been the problem. Zoomed you out again. <laughs> but I'm not going to apply lashes because I don't have any new lashes and I forgot to grab them. Yeah, I do really, really like how this look came out. I love most of the products. So let me just go over and let you know what I think about everything. So, starting off with the face mask... Um, I think it was really, like, refreshing and nice to have on my skin. And, like, after I took it off, my skin did feel very hydrated. So, that was nice. After that, I went in with this Lovato Age Away Replenishing Cream. And this felt so nice on my skin. I definitely did, like this and the way it felt and the way it smelled and it just seemed really nice i like the thickness of it i definitely felt like it was actually doing something for my skin and that is always always a good thing so i look forward to trying that some more and seeing how my skin feels afterwards and after that we went in with the elf poreless putty primer i'm surprised it worked for me because usually products like this i never expect to work for me but i definitely wanted to try it so that's why i picked it up in the first place and it did make my skin feel super super smooth and silky which is really nice because it doesn't usually feel like that because i have very dry skin so that was a plus definitely like that after that we just went in with this foundation which i always use and i do really like this it was giving me some like weird vibes of how it was applying but i honestly think that was this brush that i used i just feel like they're kind of flimsy like they're not very dense so it just made it feel weird to apply but i'll try to use these brushes some more and maybe i'm just not used to like flimsy brushes I'm really into dense brushes so maybe that was it then I went in with this concealer I'm not super impressed with this concealer at all which I'm surprised about because I usually love pretty vulgar products but this just did not hit it for me um it was 
very creasy like it creased so bad the color ended up working for me it looked really really orange in person but once i blended it out it looked better but i'm not i'm not super impressed like the coverage was not very great at all yeah not super super happy about that but let's go into the setting powder setting powder i did like i love the scent of it i like how uh, it was finely milled and it really matte down my face like my face felt super matte and nice after I applied that so that was good and then it went downhill from there for sure it went downhill with this palette with the bronzer and the contour so those kind of screwed me over uh my contour looked horrible and i am definitely not happy about these two but with the blush in the highlight i did like i feel like it did look good so that's good this won't be completely horrible to use um but I'll try it out some more, see if I like it any more as I go on. Then we have the Iconic London Illuminator Drops. These I did really, really, really like because it blended out super nice. It was a very lit from within kind of glow and it just looked really, really nice. I did apply the Tarte Highlighter on top, but I just like how it all looks together. I feel like it looks very very smooth glow you know what i mean and then after that i believe we went into the eyeshadow so eyeshadow definitely love i look forward to trying this again for sure and trying out some of the colorful shades in some of the shimmers but this i definitely enjoyed playing around with and using it was super nice uh, blended really nice the mattes were very pigmented it was just really really good and then we go on to the Stila you know how I feel about the Stila it was definitely really really good my eyeshadow looks super super pretty super glittery and it was so easy to use these are just like so fun and I love them and I want all of them but yeah definitely a really really good option mascara was really good um i don't usually know what to say about mascaras but i did enjoy it i did enjoy um the way it made my lashes look in the end the brow product i don't really know much to say about it because i don't really use brow pencils it didn't really stay sharp long so that was kind of not my favorite thing um but it was creamy and I did like the color, so that's good. Next thing was the Nude Sticks lipstick. Definitely liked this for sure. It's a beautiful color and I love the formula. It just really complemented my skin tone and it applied super, super nice. And lastly, the Glow Recipe Ultra Fine Mist was super, super nice. I love the spritzer. It was very fine. And the scent is super, super great. And I definitely like that. So overall, I like most of the things. So that is good. I look forward to trying some more of these products and making those bronzers work better for me. Because that definitely did not work out this time. So I will try that again. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed please like, comment, and subscribe down below. And if you would, please go over to my Instagram page and check it out. I've been making a lot of new posts of new makeup looks, and I really think you guys will enjoy. So thank you guys again so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!